Voucher, hello, welcome to Keith's Whiskey Vlog. Guess what my name is? I am Keith, Whiskey Tour Guide Keith. You'll find me on Instagram at Whiskey Tour Guide Keith, or obviously here on YouTube where I do some whiskey reviews and some wider stuff about Scottish tourism, the land, the history, the culture, all that sort of thing. What I'm going to do in this video is review a whiskey for you, and the whiskey I'm going to review is this one here, the Beaumore 12 year old. Now, uh, to paraphrase a famous or infamous Scottish poet, on my whisky there was a coup. It's not there now. So that's the end of the coup. Yes, Harry Coos, the Highland cow, never ceases to amaze me how fascinated visitors to Scotland are. Can we see a cow Can we, with the big horns and the long hair? Yeah, all that history, all that culture, all that scenery. Oh, it's so cute. This is the best part of the holiday. Oh, got the distilleries, got the castles, see the Loch Ness Monster. No, Highland cows. Anyway, enough, enough about that. Come to Scotland, come and enjoy the Highland cows. Pay me money to go and see them. And then I can buy whiskey, like this lovely bottle here. So, Beaumore. Beaumore is the main town on the island of Isla. And if you know anything about me at all, you will know that I cannot stop talking about or drinking Isla whiskey. The island of Isla just off the west coast is where my favourite whiskey comes from, favourite Scotch whiskey. So we'll do a little taste and review in a minute or so for you on the Bamore 12 year old. Now like Isla, when you get to Isla, you start to understand how to pronounce things. I would used to have called that Bomore, but it's Bamore. A little bit quicker, Bamore. Like a lot of whisky distilleries in Scotland, it is uh, it comes sort of an anglicised version of a Gaelic name. Gaelic was the sort of pre-English, one of the main pre-English languages used in Scotland. Um, more comes from the Gaelic word more, and it usually means big or large. And I believe the the bow b o w is the anglicised version. I think it's a, it means reef, as in one under the under the sea. So big reef, bow more. The village of Beaumore. The island of Isla has got about 3,200, 3,300 population. It's quite a small population. It's a lot smaller than it used to be in the early 1800s. It was up around about 18,000 or so. But um, people have obviously moved away over the years for various reasons. And today Isla, just over 3,000. And in the village of Beaumore there's around about 1,000 or so. Now it's the oldest distillery on Isla. Established in 1779, a lot of these dates with distilleries are a little bit vague. Um, some distilleries were older distilleries or weren't legal or amalgamated or sort of started and stopped production quite a lot. But as far as we know anyway, Beaumore is the oldest distillery still operating on the island of Isla. It's one of the oldest in Scotland. Um, if you ask anyone what is Scotland's oldest distillery, You've got five or six answers. There's two or three claims and <sighs> records were a little bit vaguer back in those days. It doesn't really matter as long as they're producing it today, I suppose. So the Bumore, 12 years old. Now, as you know, probably I am a tour guide. I do whiskey tours, I do general tours as well. But whenever I take people on tour, being a bit of a, a smokehead, an Isla whiskey aficionado myself, if I take you to the pub and I start to talk about whiskey and introduce you to it, I will usually start you off on this. It's a sort of medium Isla. Isla whiskey, the region is renowned for its peaty, earthy, smoky whiskies. So I'll get that out of the way just now. We'll go to the whiskey tour guide Keith Pointer. This is Scotland, obviously. And this is the island of Isla down here. So you've got the mainland, the Isle of Jura, and then the island of Isla. And for a long time there were eight distilleries, there's now nine. One's just about to start producing whiskey, uh, Ardenahoe, so that's the newest. Beaumore is the oldest. And Isla, if you look at it up close you can see it's almost the shape of a witch, some people say. On the west over here you've got the long chin, you've got the pointed hat, and here's the sort of the, the humpback, it's like a witch carrying a big sack on her back, something like that. So that's the island of Isla. So you've got two sides to Isla. And you've got two sea lochs that 
sort of indent, one from the north, one from the south, big bays, we call them sea lochs in Scotland. And Bowmore sits down here on the southeast sort of shore of Loch Indal, I-N-D-A-A-L, Loch Indal. So Bowmore overlooks Loch Indal. On the other side of Loch Indal, you can see right across to the Brookladdy distillery. Uh, we'll talk about Brookladdy and other um, videos for you. Um, okay, so the village of Bowmore, it's the sort of the main administrative hub on the island. Um, it's about the same size as the village of Portellan, just to the south of Bowmore. There's only really about four or five streets in Bowmore. There's a little bit more than that, I'm exaggerating a little bit. There's about five or six streets in Bowmore. But there's two or three main streets. It's the sort of the main hub on the island. And I, I don't think they really understand how uh, fortunate they are um, to have what they have. They know it, but they don't properly understand it. You've got the Bowmore Distillery in the village, right in the corner down at the shore. Um, it's got a sea wall with a sort of big white whitewashed wall with the Bowmore lettering, so you can see it from the, the sea. When they used to sort of get del barley delivered and send their barrels off for sale. So that's right in the just right in the, 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 the seafront of the village. Um, and there, you've got two main sort of whiskey bar slash hotels in the village of Bowmore. Uh, three really good ones. Two of those are outstanding. Uh, you've got the Bowmore Hotel itself, uh, the two Peters that run it. So hello to uh, Peter Senior, Peter Junior, if you are there. And uh, they have got an absolutely astounding, and uh, the amount of whiskey they have. I, I warn people who go to Isla, if I take people on tour, generally people who go to Isla know what they're talking about. It's a bit of a bucket list place, all these whiskies, all that history. And I warn them, no matter how much you know or how prepared you are, it's off the scale how into whisky the, the depth. Um, for instance, up in the Orkney Islands, way up here, the main town is Kirkwall. So you've got two distilleries, you've got Highland Park and Scapa. And the Kirkwall Hotel, the main sort of seafront hotel in the town of Kirkwall, They've got a partnership with the Highland Park Distillery. Now, the last time I was in, they had this massive big display of Highland Park whiskey. A beautiful display behind the bar. And I think there were 82 different Highland Park expressions. So there were all sorts of age statements, limited releases, special releases, um, you name it, single casks. You could pay whatever you want for a Highland Park. So 82 different Highland Parks. When you go into the Bowmore Hotel, um, the last time I counted, they had 84 different Bowmores. Peter Senior brought me a little whiskey. So he's here, try that. Tried it, it was astonishingly good, beautiful whiskey. It was a Bowmore 15 year old, uh, a, a special festival release from two or three years ago. And I thought, I wonder how much it cost. I looked up in the menu and it wasn't even on the menu. So they've got 84 Bowmores and they've got other Bowmores lying around. And never that's not to talk about the Lagavulins, the Lafroigs, the Brookladdies, the Octomores, uh, Bunahavins, Kalilas. It's unbelievable how many different whiskey expressions they have in there. So the Bowmore Hotel in the village of Bowmore, remember there's only four or five streets. You've got the Lochside as well and the Harbour Inn, all outstanding little whiskey havens and as I say when they don't quite realise what they have the Bowmore Hotel one of the greatest whiskey bars in the world and you walk in and they've got a lot of locals there just drinking Jack Daniels and Coke or vodka and Coke or not even interested in some of the amazing single malt whiskey it is a little bit more expensive of course but uh, I think they're drinking more to enjoy themselves than to be proper connoisseurs and you can blame them so Amazing place, Isla, the village of Bowmore, the Bowmore Hotel, the Lochside, um, great whiskey selection. So you can already hear, I'm already getting carried away about Isla, we've not even got anywhere near talking about the whiskey yet. So the Bowmore 12, it's bang in the middle of the whole of Isla, the, the Isla whiskey range, not just Bowmore. Um, it's a good place to start. If this is a little bit too smoky, peaty or earthy for you, you can come down a little bit. If you don't like smoke or peat at all, 
you can go to a different region, go to Highland or Lowland or wherever, Speyside, but uh, I like to start people on this. And when I wax lyrical, when I've effused profusely about Isla Whiskey, once I talk you through it, once you taste it, and if you taste it properly, rather than just necking it, then I think you'll get a real appreciation for Isla Whiskey starting with this one. And I often find people need more after they've tried this. And they'll pop on up to Lagavulin or Lafroig or Optum or something like that. So, what I like to do in my whiskey reviews is read you the bottle. So the Bowmore 12 years old. So obviously no whiskey in the bottle younger than 12. Doesn't mean it is 12 years old. Just means it's at least 12 years old. Uh, our signature distillery style of peat smoke, citrus and vanilla. Perfectly balanced at 12 years old. So it's the absolute sort of heart of the core range. Uh, the Bowmore 15 years old, if I remember rightly, is the is basically this, but then it's then aged for three years in Oloroso sherry cask. And you can see it's a lot darker as well. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about this. What does the what does the box say? Uh, 40%. So Again, some people get really disappointed at 40% whiskies, but it's 40%, it's not bad. Quantum's 40%, it's one of the stronger liqueurs, so. Uh, right, okay, so Bowmore aged 12 years. Bowmore is home to the world's oldest Scotch maturation warehouse, the legendary number one vaults. Some of the world's most coveted single malts have been meticulously matured here, steeped in more than 230 years of heritage matured in the finest casks. Everybody matures their whiskey in the finest casks. The most perfectly balanced of these, Bowmore 12 years old, embodies our signature style. I'd agree with that. Reflecting the essence of Bowmore, thrashing waves, windswept landscapes and generations of tradition, our 12 years old is both complex and perfectly balanced. Subtle lemon and sweet heather honey complement the trademark peat smoke of Bowmore leading to a delicious, long and mellow finish. Open the door to a story of deeper character. So the usual marketing stuff there. Uh, the number one vaults are quite well known. They're actually just below sea level. Now, scientists often try and just as often fail to put their finger on whiskey maturation. Does it matter if you mature it just below sea level at the coast? Does it matter if you mature it at the top of a mountain? Does it matter if you mature it in Scotland or in India? Does it matter if it's uh, in the, the countryside or a motorway junction? Who knows? Certainly the provenance, the, the idea in your head almost, uh, you want it to be somewhere coastal and rugged and exposed maybe. But uh, again, where Isla is, it's exposed to the, the, sort of the Atlantic. So you've got a lot of fresh air, you've got the change in weather, You've got um, a lot of moisture, and I think it does make a difference. I don't know, but I think it does. Okay. Right, nowhere near even the whiskey yet. So we'll get some in a glass, we'll start to taste it for you, and we'll tell you what whiskey tour guide Keith thinks of the Bowmore 12. And if you don't already know, Now I understand this is chill filtered, which upsets people. That's 40%, which upsets people. It's chill filtered, which upsets people. Uh, I think it is also has a little bit of the, the caramel colour added to it, which upsets people. But again, put it in your mouth, see what you think. If you like it, it's a good one. If you don't like it, it's not so good. On the nose, what's it saying? Now, I've not been to all the distilleries in Scotland. I've never even actually counted up how many I've been to. We'll say about half, maybe a little bit more than half. And easily, the Bowmore Distillery is my favourite smelling distillery. When you visit it, just as you go to the visitor centre, there's a sort of um, there's a gap between two buildings. The shore is 30, 40 yards away. And when they're malt they've got their own floor maltings, they're one of the few distilleries that still malts their own 
um, barley. I think it's only maybe 10-20% of their production, not all of it, but they still do their own floor maltings when the maltings are on. On a beautiful sunny day, you've got the sea air coming in, you've got that smokiness, the saltiness. It's, uh, I really do wish I could bottle the air at Bowmore. It's a beautiful smell. So I'm getting that a little bit on the nose. It's quite fresh. You've got a little bit of the saltiness, a little bit of the, certainly the smokiness. Woody, so all the other things you would expect on the nose. And quite smooth. So a little bit of that vanilla, the, sort of the, the wood, the tannins from the oak, that sort of idea. And not too overpowering at all with the smoke or the peat. And I could... Uh, I could smell this for a long time before I drink it. Often again in the pub, I'll usually get a whiskey and pint of lager, drink the lager for a while and just leave the whiskey and let it come to me. And this is one of the great ones for that. It's maybe one of the reasons why I use it to introduce people to Scottish whiskey. Okay. Now, even though it's 40%, although it's 12 years old, it's got a bit of strength to it, it's got a bit of nip, a bit of pepperiness, a bit of that sort of heat. It's also got a little bit of almost, I would say, rubber, rubberiness. I've heard it likened to old rope, which I would agree with. So you think about a bit of old rope tying up a boat down at the shore there. But it's, I wouldn't say chemically, but certainly that rubbery sort of feel. You get the smoke, it's a little bit more of a sort of bitter smoke. Um, maybe a bit more like sort of ash, so a bit charcoal, but a bit more ash. You often want to think people like ash, rope, rubber, and you enjoy it, <laughs> big time. You do get a bit of the the fruit fruit as well. So you've got you're talking about sort of orange and lemon quite sort of warm, sticky fruit, a bit sugary, so a little bit of the honey, a little bit of the vanilla, beautiful smell. Yep, as I was saying, just great sweet. Um, a little bit oily maybe, not quite as rubbery in the mouth, but a little bit more oily. So you've got that bitter, sharp overtones just sort of surrounding it as well. A lot sweeter, I would say, than something like uh, a Laphroaig or the Ardbeg. So, lovely whiskey. We'll chuck in a little bit of water, see what that does to it. Couple of drops. It was a big drop and a small drop, so two normal sized drops. I'd say it's got a little bit more sort of toffee, a bit more fudge, sort of butteriness on the nose now. Very vapory, really. Yeah, it's sort of salted caramel, so salted toffee, salted fudge, um, a little bit of that. You've always got the peaty undertones, a little bit of smoke, but it's a bit more rounded, a bit, bit sweeter, a bit fuller at the bottom of your mouth with the water in it. So there you go, the Bowmore 12 years old. Lovely dram from an excellent distillery in an outstanding little village on one of the best islands you'll ever visit. I can't talk it up much more. For everyone in Bowmore, keep doing what you're doing and uh, I'll be back again soon. If you like this or you want to try something in the same sort of ballpark, 
Uh, I think I got this one on offer in my local supermarket for £25. Um, it's usually going to be about £35 to £40, which is decent enough for a 12 year old and something as good and as established as Bowmore. So keep an eye open, you can get it on the cheap, but worth paying a little bit extra for it as well. If you can't get it, or if you, you've tried it, you want something similar, uh, I've got a couple on my shelf. Uh, I've, but the most often thing I compare it to would be the, the Kalila 12 is another standard age statement anyway. Kalila is another Isla distillery, I'm sure you know, 12 years old as well. It's a bit smoother, a bit more sort of vanilla, a bit more creamy, but if I had to introduce two people to whiskey, I might get myself a Laphroaig, I'd get one of them a Bomore, I would get one of them the Kalila 12. So try the Kalila 12, um, same age range, same price range. Um, the Laphroaig quarter cask as well, up here, Laphroaig's quite notorious, but the quarter cask's a bit sort of fuller, a bit more rounded, and it's quite a uh, close, stable body to the Bomore 12. Um, what else would you try? Maybe something like, um, maybe not from Isla. If you go up to another Scottish island, further up, up here is the Isla Sky, and quite a well-known distillery up there is the Talisker Distillery. And the Talisker 10-year-old, the standard age statement. It's got that sort of pepperiness. Um, it's maybe not quite as smoky as the Bowmore, but it's got a lot in common. It's a distillery right on the coast, a sort of, not quite an exposed, but more of a sort of in a sea inlet coastal distillery um, so Talisker 10 year old give that a try as well Talisker 10 Lefroy quarter cask or the Kalila 12 there's three similar recommendations hopefully you've enjoyed this little video if you have follow me like and subscribe leave some comments let me know what you think and um, if you like what I was saying near the start of the video Get in touch and we'll get you on a little trip to Isla and you will not be disappointed. Amazing place, amazing people, amazing whiskey. All that's left to say, Slanjava. Cheers. <laughs>